all right hey guys welcome back to another video uh it's been quite some time since my last video um i checked my last video and it says um i haven't uploaded for two weeks um do apologize for that um just you know i've been busy with work and life and stuff like that um and i'm kind of don't know what i want to do with this channel anymore <laughs> I initially was just showing a lot of pickups when I um, first started this channel, and it was fun doing that. But, I don't know, after a while, it gets tiring after a while. And right now, I'm, I'm in a weird place right now when it comes to this whole YouTube thing. <laughs> because, it's like, I don't know what else to, you know, do with this page. Um, I have been doing a lot of shorts on my own. Um, YouTube channel. Um, I hope you all are enjoying that. You know, it's just quick and easy to do. That's why I enjoy doing them a lot more than the regular videos. And my regular videos haven't been getting that many views. So that's another reason why I haven't been do, doing too many. But, you know, it's not all about the views for me. But <clears throat> sometimes the views help, you know. Hitting the like button helps, though. I usually don't ask for people to do that or subscribe. I don't do that no more. I used to when I made my videos um, at the beginning. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's just get into um, some of the recent pickups that I got. Um, I'm not sure what I want to call these videos anymore. Because um, i tired of thinking of a title for each of my videos. So I'm going to just call it like maybe recent pickups or what I got or I, I don't know. I, I have to think of the title before I upload the video. But um, yeah, so this is going to be the, some of the stuff that I recently had got. Um, as you all may know, Nintendo is re-releasing some of the older Smash Brothers Amiibos. I'm not sure if they're going to release any of the other Super Mario ones or any other franchise. I'm not sure if they're gonna re-release those. They did re-release some of the Mario ones, as you can see on my wall, Mario, Luigi, Peach, Bowser, and Donkey Kong. I know in some other places they have re-released um, Rosalina and Koopa Troopa. I think that's in the UK though, and Diddy Kong. Uh, we didn't get those over here in the US. So um, let me show you the first Amiibo. Here is Palutena from Kid Icarus. Now this is a dope figure. I actually did buy this when it first came out, but I opened it. It's on my shelf in the living room, but this is a dope figure. I'm glad to have this again for the box collection. Next up we have one of my favorites here, and that is the Duck Hunt Dog. As you can see, you see the dog and the duck. That's cool. I, I like this one. This just gives me that old school vibes. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that I did a picture on this. And the picture came out great. I really enjoyed that one. So that's the duck hunt amiibo. And the last amiibo here. This one's a cool one. Rob the Robot. I had to get this again. I did get it when it first came out. Um, it was a part of the um, the retro triple pack where it had Rob, it had Duck Duck Hunt, and it had the Game and Watch character. So hopefully they'll release the Game and Watch character by itself, and hopefully they'll release the Famicom colors for Rob the Robot by itself too. So yeah. That's Rob the Robot. <laughs> and tonight I will be showing some of the games that I have been playing. And I also will show some of the new games I got. <clears throat> Alright, so... I had recently beat Manhunt. Not on the PS2, but I did beat it on um, the Xbox, Xbox Series X. 
Um, it's actually available on the Xbox Series X. If you didn't know, you can download and play it. That's how I played this game. And this game is very, very gruesome. And I really enjoyed every minute of it. Great game. I highly recommend it if you never played it. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing Part 2, but for some reason, the PlayStation 2 version of Part 2 goes for quite a bit. It's going like for like $100, and I'm not going to pay that. So I probably will end up getting the Wii version. But I think I should get... I don't know. I don't want to pay $100 for the PS2 version. I really don't. But um, yeah, that is Manhunt. Very good game. Highly recommend it if you never played it. And also, I've been going back and playing NBA Live 2004 for the PS2. Um, when it comes to NBA Live, I think this one is probably my favorite one. I always end up going back and playing this one. I mean, I do enjoy the other ones, 2002, 2003, 2005, 6, 7, 8, and 9. But this is the one that I always go back and play for some reason. I just love the whole basketball engine for this one. This was a huge step up from 2003. Everything about this one was just so much better. But... I don't find myself going back to 2002 that much. 2003, yeah, from time to time. 2005, of course. 2006, yeah. 2007, 8, and 9, not too much. But NBA Live 2004, I'm really, really enjoying this game again. <laughs> right now, I'm currently at the second year of my Dynasty mode. Um, there's actually 25 years that you can do in this game. For the, for the Dynasty mode. Now imagine if I would have kept on playing this game from back when it released until now. I'll probably be up to like year 20 something. Um, 25 years. That will be like uh, 2028. Will be like the last year for the game. Or maybe 2027. I'm not sure. But it's cool. You know. I'm not sure if I want to play all 25 years um, for the Dynasty. You know, but we'll see. NBA Live 2004. Good game. If you're a basketball fan, I highly recommend that one. The game doesn't have to be brand new for you to enjoy it. And a game that I started yesterday Lemony Snickets, a series of unfortunate events. <laughs> um, I didn't even know this was a game, to be honest. I didn't even know they made this. Um, I forgot where I got this game from. I really don't remember where I got it from. But um, I had saw it one day and I bought it. I was like, I love the movie. The movie was really good. Jim Carrey played the hell out of that role as Count Olaf. It was extremely funny. Um, I like the three, um, <clears throat> the young, uh, the young characters. The girl, um, I forgot her name. Um, the guy. Klaus and um, Sonny. I think that's the, the um, baby's name. I forgot the girl's name. I, I don't remember her name. But um, probably have it on the back of the case right here. But um, so far, I'm really enjoying the game. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not anything that's like mind blowing, but it's a pretty dope game. I like the setup of it. So. Yeah, I can't wait to finish this one. A series of unfortunate events. And now onto some of the stuff I had picked up. No, some of the games I had picked up. Um, this one, I got this one from GameStop. Because um, I like to check various GameStops and see what they have. You know, because GameStop have been getting a lot of the Wii, PS3, Xbox 360 games. Um, so... This one I had got from GameStop is The House of the Dead 2 and 3. I've been wanting to get this game again. I used to have it years ago. I think it was around the time when they released it for the Wii. 
Um, but I remember playing the House of the Dead 2 a lot on the Sega Dreamcast. And that game was one of my favorite games for the Dreamcast. Um, part 3, I didn't play it too much. Um, it was my first time playing Part 3 on the Wii. Um, well, it was my first time playing it Part 3 through the um, through the Wii because I never played it um, on Dreamcast or the Xbox. I'm not sure which console had Part 3, but yeah, I never played it back then. But... If you never played the House of the Dead, this is a good way to experience two games. It comes with two games and one, which is cool. And both of the games are on one disc, which I do like. Because yeah, it's just crazy nowadays. Um, you can't even get two disc on the um, two games on the disc. One game is on, or even on the cartridge. Well, for um, the Nintendo Switch. One game will be on the cartridge, and the rest of it you gotta download. That's just stupid. But, um, yeah, The House of the Dead 2 and 3 return. And these last two items here, I had all of these from Amazon. Um, I was just browsing Amazon because sometimes I just browse and see what games I can buy. Um, and I was just browsing, and I never knew that these existed. Um, sure you can get these separately, but if you want to get all three for a decent price, I highly recommend going this route. Um, especially if you don't have the game. Um, but yeah, I, I never knew the, these existed. First one here is the Ultimate Action Triple Pack. It comes with Just Cause 2, Sleeping Dogs, and Tomb Raider. I already have Sleeping Dogs and Tomb Raider, but this was a, got this for a good deal. Three games for like $20. So I figured, you know, it's okay. I never played Just Cause 2 anyway, so I will be trying that one out. And all the games are on one disc, which I do like. So that is Ultimate Action Triple Pack. And last but not least is the Ultimate Stealth Triple Pack. And it comes with Thief, Hitman Absolution, and Deus Ex Human Revolution. I used to have Deus Ex Human Revolution for the Wii U. Almost dropped the game. But I got rid of it because I didn't like it. But with this triple pack, I'll be able to try again. Um, Hitman, very interested in trying the Hitman game. Um, the only Hitman game I ever played was part two, but I never, never got that far in it. And Thief, I never played it. But um, yeah, once again, this have only one disc included. It has all the games on one disc, so that's good. I'm not even sure if you have to download the other two games or if it's just one game on one disc. I don't, I don't think so. But, um, yeah, that is Ultimate Stealth Triple Pack. Can't wait to try these out. Yep, so that is the end of the video. I really appreciate everyone for watching my video still. Um, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know uh, what games you've been playing, what things you picked up lately. I would really like to know. Thanks so much for watching and have a good night.